Hello, I'm back. Hello, hello. Welcome to our stay at home lockdown series from Treasure House of Makeup and Seventa Makeup Academy. Um, Ian, myself, I am back. My name's Ian, obviously, if you don't know me already. Uh, yes, so, welcome. Welcome to everyone that has joined me before. Welcome to anyone new. Thank you for visiting. Very, very, very exciting. We have looked at latex, we have looked at silicon. Uh, we've done dirty and down, we've done some basic cuts, we've done first and second degree burns, we've done scabs, we've done split lips, we've done eyebrows, we've done working with colour, creating cuts. Um, I have a new new products today, new products, I love new products. New products from Treasure House. Um, and I want to show you all about these products and how we work with them. So, today we are looking at... Da, da, da. Very exciting. Hello, Treasure House. Hello, Seventa, sorry. Seventa Makeup Academy is with us. We are looking at Meron's... We love new. I love new. Meron 3D Gels. Oh my god, 3D gels from Meron. Dee, dee, dee. And we're also looking at effects gels from Ben Nye. There we are. Right. Gelatin. These 3D gels are fabulous. They are really good to create um Yes, thank you, Treasure House. You have been amazing looking after us during the lockdown series. Um, I am very excited because I love these gel effects. I think um, they are a really good, inexpensive way of creating 3D effects in a realistic way. As I said, we go in order of budget. Latex, we can create what you want with latex. It's harder, but as, as, as you see by some of my other videos, you can still do it. So do we go there? latex then we go up a notch to gelatin now you can still create you can create prosthetics out of gelatin latex or silicon again in order of price latex gelatin silicon Ge gelatin just gives it that more realistic fleshy pliable skin is not rigid you know it's pliable it moves it's squishy especially if you get things like pustules and and blisters it's squishy and that's what we, we tried we really care with gelatin and then obviously we have um obviously we've got silicon silicon that you all all played around with the other day 3d gel sorry 3d gel, sculpt gel and obviously when you're making prosthetics you would use silicon today i want to show you uh, gel effects now many brands do use these um i particularly love the Meron one and the Ben Nye one just because I find the consistency really lovely um, so I'm going to work on a bit of a sec uh, we're going to do we're going to revisit our sort of first degree burn which is our sunburn but we're then going to add some big kind of pustule blistery squishy items because you know, when you get sunburns I don't know if I, I mean, for example, I've got a little burn there. That's not a sunburn, but it's a little burn there. And it's got, it's just, it had a little blister which I popped. Well, that's what we're going to do. And look, the lovely colouring. Can you see the lovely colouring? That's real. So that's when, you know, that's sort of where we're going with this. So we are working with, today we, this whole next week is going to be working with gel effects as we recreate some elements. But this, today, let's do some Meron 3D gel in i'm not gonna go through, this is the flesh one which is actually not it's not too far off it's, it's a bit more yeah but it's not bad and i'm actually gonna go with that color because i want to do blisters but we're gonna do a sunburn first so we go back to our gorgeous 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 color which is our burnt coral by Ben Nye. This one there. Burnt Coral by Ben Nye. 
and we're going to do our basic first layer. So let's do an area here. Actually, no, let's do, let's do the nose. Why don't we do the nose? Let's do the nose. That'd be nice. A lovely nose. <laughs> and remember what I said, when you do a sunburn, it's about being really equal and balanced all over. You don't want too much colour appearing. Make sure, by the way, you've put this into the into hot water, otherwise it won't go. Okay, boiling water would be great. And you just really keep, just keep buffing it. And can you see already, I've got, there you go, that's my sunburn nose. I mean, how easy is that? Just keep buffing it. It's the best way to just keep doing it. You just keep, you just got to keep working that, um, you know, that blending out. Now, Madalena, you're always on my videos, my love, and I'm, I hope they're providing useful, and I hope you're enjoying them. Please, any questions you have to ask me, or anything you need to know, always DM me, anyone, Madalena or anyone watching, always DM me. Hello, welcome. We're doing a bit of a sunburn nose with blisters today. So this is a normal look that you would expect. You've been out, this is our, you've been allowed out next week with your families out of lockdown and your nose gets burnt. Don't want to make sure I've got not too much light. There we go, that's better. Do the underneath of the nose as well. Don't forget the underneath. Lovely. Now, I'm going to pour and see if you can see what it looks like. Now, it will have a little, it might have solidified. So you just gotta have to work it. Because sometimes it does get a bit hard and you just have to work it out. Take it out, take out the top, okay? We may just have to give it another quick. It may not be soft enough just yet. So you just kind of put it back in the water just to let it melt down. Don't microwave it, okay? It'd be too much. Please don't microwave it. And essentially that's what it is. That's the gelatin, hard, has no smell. You know, doesn't smell of anything. It doesn't take very long either to soften. And you can always reuse this. So don't think you're not going to because you will. So we take out the bit that's hard and we end up with, you see? So we're gonna put a couple of, we're gonna do a couple of lumps. You should, you should, it's fabulous, it's fabulous. Alex Palmieri, a fabulous pop singer from Italy. Welcome. Bienvenuto. So, there's going to be my gorgeous blister. Can we see? Fabulous, fabulous blister. And 
that might be on the that might be a little bit on the thick side, but you know, we'll work with it. Where is my there we go? Bless you, Alex. I hope you're well, my love, and keeping safe, and I hope your family are all well. Now, thing with gelatin, it goes very quickly. And you've just got to be careful that you don't let it, you don't work it when it's gone because you will spoil the shape. Now you can get a little bit of alcohol. And start cleaning up the edges of your blister. Yeah. Don't worry if you take out the red because we will go back and revisit. But I just want all that excess gelatin to go. Because we're trying just to make sure we have a really clean, clean area. So you've got to be really gentle to clean up the area. You see that? Oh, that's going to be fabulous. Jackson Netto, hello, my love. Fabulous, fabulous London personality. Welcome, welcome to our demos today. A little bit of sunblem blistering on the nose. Now, I will then remelt that and pop it back in my thing. Right, so, as that dries, we can start reapplying our burn colour. Very gently, don't overdo it. And this is one of the things you've got to be careful as you apply it, it doesn't move. Because it's still it's still a bit sticky as you can see. You don't want it to move, otherwise you'll spoil the shape. So can you see my edges are really clean around it? Yeah, really clean edges. So just to remind you, we are using 3D gel by Meron. And because it's gelatin and my body is hot, well, hotish, <laughs> uh, it will take a little while to dry. So sometimes we just need to give it a quick burst of cold air, but we'll see how, how well we do. Now I put this on when it was when it was curing. Yeah? So it's my sort of blistered nose. In, and I did it, I, I, I put it on when it was kind of 
getting quite hard so it allows me to just stay otherwise it's too liquid it's too runny so I'm now just sorting out my nose Now you'll all be pleased to know that when you go back to special effects work, when, we all, when we're all allowed to film, because of the amount of alcohol we use, <laughs> we're probably going to be one of the safest industries. Less so in the beauty makeup industry, but definitely in the effects industry. So... That's where we are. Now we need to add a bit of edging to our, we need to add a little bit of edging to our nose, to our blister. So we're going to go with our Meron. It's all about Meron today. Meron, Paradise, Pro Color Ring SFX, great little ring. I'm going to get a bit of alcohol, spray it on my lid. I get my dark burgundy colour, which is this one. It's called Burnt Maroon. And remember, you use it as if you were painting watercolours. It's about creating colour wash. And you're going to be edging that blister. See what I mean? Just edge, edge the blister. Yes, grease. This is grease paint, but I water it down using IPA so it looks and feels a bit like an alcohol colour. And alcohol activated. It gives you it's 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 a very similar consistency to alcohol painting. A little bit more greasy, but it does a very good job. So if you know if you're a beginner and, and you don't have a lot of alcohol palettes because they're expensive, this is a good way to create in similar effects. However, it doesn't paint as well on silicon sometimes, okay? So painting grease on silicon doesn't work as well, but on skin it's absolutely fine. So I'm trying to create, can you see I'm just creating a bit of an edge to make it look angrier. No problem. So it's a really good way of kind of trying to get you to use the same techniques you would do for IPA, for alcohol paints, but with a less expensive medium. Okay, so that's my edging done. Now I go back to my burnt coral directly no that don't this time don't dilute it with alcohol okay this time we don't dilute it and now we, oh, we're going to add very, 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 very gentle yellowing to the posture, to the 
build up now a blister is a build up of liquid it tends to be infected liquid underneath a, le a fine layer of skin this is what this is okay so it can be quite yellowy so again pro coloring this time we go for maize yellow which is this one lid liquid very little because this will also take the shine away and as you can see it's squishy which is what you want because you could actually inject this you could actually inject this um, with a gel and then you could actually burst it if you wanted. It's probably too much light, but I just want to. I just painted my wall by mistake. Whoops. I don't know about you, but I keep doing that. There you go. Issue averted. And there you go. There we have it. There we have it. And that's our effect. That's our very, very, very simple how to use gel. We're going to use gel for the next week because we're going to work, keep working with burns and use different materials. But I just wanted to show you how to do a quick... <laughs> yeah, well, I've had blisters like this before. And actually, that's what you want to have. Um, this is a blistered nose because of a sunburn. So first degree burn going into a close, you know, the, a blister would be a second degree. But so we're in, a, we're in a sort of late first, early second, okay? Blisterated uh, sunburn due to uh, heat radiation. Stay safe. Please relax this weekend, but please keep social distancing. Anything you need. Products this week have been 3D gel by Meron. Meron Pro Coloring SFX and our Burnt Coral by Ben Nye.